Okay, guys, good morning, good afternoon to some of you guys. My name is Bruce, uh, Super Forex Analyst. Okay, today I'm looking at a pair called USD CAD, which for me looks very interesting for a sell. Okay, this here, guys, is what I've seen on before I do all my analysis. All this, these are the com, com, combination of the strategies that I've seen, the confluences of all the strategies that I've seen before. I do, I can finish, before I finish this analysis. So let's just go straight to it. Okay, let me just try to explain it one by one on how we get to the conclusion that this is a cell setup. Okay, okay, let's quickly jump to, yeah, okay. So we got on MT4 now, where you go, you see your analysis, we're already on a cell, we catch the cell there, which is very, very, catch a cell there which is very very interesting as you can see this is our entry there with the cell okay this is our lot size there okay so this is our level of stop loss this is our level of tp and then how do you see that okay we quickly go back to this one let's first explain abc is equals to cd right why do we say abc is equals to cd right so if you can see this is our level of a so this is our level of A, this is our level of B, this is our level of C, and then our D will be somewhere down there, right? So for me, this price will be good. We went down with an impulse, and then it's just to complete to level D. So which is, this is level A, B, C, D, right? So A, B will be equals to C, D. Cool, cool, let's go on. Okay, let's see what else do we have. We have, okay, we have Fibonacci retracement. For you to pull Fibonacci, you just have to do, you just do this, you pull your FIBO from this level up there to this level here. Once price touch in between 50.0% and 61.8, it means it's our time to, it's our time to press sell going down there, okay? It's our time price, uh, our time to press sell going down there. Okay, thank you very much. Let's see, let's continue, let's move on. We go to, again, what do you see? We, we see a trend line. The trend line we are, speak, we are talking about is this one here. The trend line we are talking about will be this one here. So if price did not break this trend line, we are still on a sell. So price should break the trend line first before we can say, okay, the cell setup has failed. So for me, it still might not still go up to that level and go down down there. Okay. What else do you see? Let's go back to this one. We have breakout and retest. Okay, the breakout and retest we're talking about is this one here. Okay. Okay. This is this will be your break your trend line there. Price break the trend line going down as you can see it breaks the trend line going down from there to that level so now what's what is price doing it's retesting that trend line and then and even that even this support here so it's retesting that support there so okay let me just do quickly do that again this is our trend line this is our breakout price is retesting that level and then it's gonna continue going down. So simple as that. So let's continue. Okay, what do you have? What do you have? We have bearish flag formation. What, what, what do you talk about when you say bearish flag formation? Okay, there we go. This thing here, it looks like a bearish flag. Price is forming a bearish flag. This will be the pull of the flag from, sorry about that, from all the way all the way up there. So from there we see like a bearish flag formation, which a bearish flag means it's a continuation pattern. So once price, once you see price forming a bearish flag, it means it's gonna continue going down. First we should identify the impulse and then the form the formation of bearish flag and then price will go down. Okay, quickly let's go back. What do you see? Head and shoulder formation. Okay. What is an head and shoulder formation? If you look at this level here, you might see you can say okay. This level will act as my shoulder. This one will act as my shoulder, this side, and then 
this whole level here will be your head, right? Okay, let, what else do you, what else do we need? Let me see, we need Fibonacci retracement, okay? For Fibonacci retracement, I've mentioned that this is your Fibonacci retracement. So guys, this is a complete cell. Once you, you just have to wait for price to reach 61.8 of your Fibo after a breakout. And then you have to have as many confluences as we have, like I did here with my, with my confluences, right? This is the confluences that you have. This is the reason why I've risked my money here going, selling this price going down. Thank you very much, guys. Have a nice day, have a nice evening. See you next time.